Ravens fans, I'm excited to be joined by new wide receivers coach T. Martin T. Thank you so much for the time. Congratulations on joining the staff here. You've spent most of your time at the college ranks, most recently at Tennessee and USC before that. What was it about this opportunity that made you want to make the jump to the NFL? Well, first of all, it's the Ravens, you know, John Harbaugh. And just, just as a fan, you know, looking from afar, you know, I'm a former quarterback and I always appreciate the game and, and watch the players and, and that, that play the game and play the position that I played. And, and Lamar, you know, is one of my, my, one of my biggest players and me and my kids like to watch. And last year for Christmas, I bought my kids uh, Lamar Jackson jerseys, just, just, as, just being a fan. And I uh, never knew that this day would come, but uh, obviously as a, as a college coach, you always have aspirations to coach on a professional level and uh, don't know which team it's going to be, but I feel like I was blessed and fortunate that uh, I was offered the opportunity to uh, work here with the Baltimore Ravens. Now, T, I understand that during the interview process, you ultimately accepted the job kind of on the spot during a phone call with Coach Harbaugh. Tell me about that. I felt like a college recruit. <laughs> <laughs> I felt like I was committing to my college. You know, he, you know, John was very calm and quiet and, and the interview process had gone fairly quick and uh, uh, within a, a matter of days. And uh, I thought the phone call was more about having another interview. And so he had a few questions that he was asking me and and then he popped the question kind of, hey, we offer, offer you the job, will you take it? I'm like, well, yeah, I'm gonna take it. And, uh, but I felt like I felt like I was a recruit again, uh, picking my college, but no, it was a, a great moment for, for myself and my family. And we kind of celebrated, but you know, it's time to get to work, but uh, with, with all the blessings and, and uh, Thanksgiving uh, that comes with it. What's the first order of business when you come to a new team, a new organization? Uh, to be a part of that culture. Uh, when you come from places, especially from college to pro, it's so different. You know, in college you have to recruit and the day-to-day -day is a little different, keeping up with your players and class and all of these type things. And uh, now the first thing I've noticed is getting to the building and we're the only ones here. You know, there's no players. And so uh, just getting used to the culture, uh, getting to know the guys on the staff. We're going to spend so much time together. And it's uh, important to me to get to know them as men and, and as people. And then the biggest thing is to learn the system. Uh, you know, we we are very vast here uh, as an offense, very multiple in the things that we do in the run game and the passing game. It's exciting to, to learn a new system. And uh, in the way that the Ravens has been doing things over the years, the best team in the country, in the world, and running the football, I'm excited about learning that. Uh, but that's, that's what you do. You hit the ground running, uh, learning, and get to know the guys in the building. I know when you get to a new place, part of it is just learning the players that you're going to be coaching. You don't have a chance to meet them yet, but I'm sure you're watching a ton of tape on them. What are your early impressions of this receiver group? Uh, exciting to watch. Uh, fast. Uh, and they're all different. You know, you have size uh, with Miles and, and those guys, and you have speed with, with Hollywood and Devin, uh, the young players. Uh, and so I really just look at, you know, where they are today and, and, and the possibilities of what their potential can be and the ceiling in this offense. You know, and, and talk about the run game, talk about the passing game. I think that we have guys that can do different things, different skill sets, and we just want to continue to improve their growth uh, if there's an off season, if we do have that opportunity to work with them this off season, if not, we'll get together in training camp. But I just want to continue to grow and build them. You know, it was a strange year last year of not having an off season, so that can hurt. You know, young players and their development. I just want to pick up where they left off uh, from last season and continue their growth. T, you've coached some really good receivers and helped develop them, like Juju Smith-Schuster and Robert Woods and Nelson Aguilar. What do you view as the keys in, in helping young players? take those big steps at the pro level? I think knowledge is power. I think the more that they can know about their game and their position, the big picture, not only you know what your job is to do uh, at your position, but how your job affects the guys around you, uh, whether we're running the ball or throwing the ball. Uh, next, to improve on technique. You know, technique, even though we're in the, on a professional level, uh, it's all about being sound uh, technically. Uh, at whatever position you play, especially at wide receiver. We're, we have to block, we have to run routes, we have to catch, we have a very uh, vast skill set. And so uh, th those are the things I think about is, is number one, big picture things in terms of how we fit into our system. And then secondly, let's be technically sound so that we can do the job the, the way that we were asked to do our job. 
Now, see, you're in a bit of a unique situation in that your son is coming out in this year's draft as a receiver played at Clemson. Are you going to be knocking on Eric DaCosta's door and saying, hey, man, check out this Amari <laughs> Rogers kid from Clemson. We could use him. <laughs> that would be that would be a, a dream come true, you know, because father-son, you know, he's always my son. I've always been a coach, but it's been from afar. You know, I've never had the opportunity to actually coach my son, but – if that were to happen, I don't know how I would feel. I just, as a parent right now, we're just talking about the process and and uh, I just want to be happy for him to have his moment to join any NFL team. But if it were the Baltimore Ravens, uh, that would be quite special. I know you're going to be coaching the wide receivers, but you're a national championship winning quarterback during your days back in Tennessee. What are your impressions of Lamar? Clearly you're a fan if you're getting the whole family jerseys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I have just been watching him from high school. You know, we had the opportunity to to know of him in in recruiting in high school. Obviously, he chose another place, and then just following his college career. And you know, early in my career, I was a quarterbacks coach and doing similar things to what he's doing. But I haven't seen anyone affect the game and play the game the way he's played. It is it's just a unique skill set that he has, and I can't wait to see it up close in person. And, and lastly, T, what should Ravens fans expect when they're watching this receiving group this year? We're going to play fast, we're going to have fun, we're going to be tough, uh, and we're going to do our jobs the way that we're asked to do our jobs and, and make our, our, our fan base and our team uh, proud of the way we play. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for the time. We're excited to have you here with the Ravens. Thanks, Garrett.